Hey y'all, I'm Adam from Top Dog, and last week I introduced you to this handsome guy Brutus here, and this week we're going to be taking what we did in part one and expanding off of it and getting better and better. So we're talking about that place command and how awesome it was. So last week I left y'all off with the homework of starting to introduce your dog to the object you're going to use for place, making sure it's a raised object, starting to, once the dog gets comfortable with that, then expecting the dog to understand that they actually have to stay on that place. And we talked a lot about those three D words. So you remember distance, distractions, and duration. That's what's gonna get that dog to start understanding that they gotta stay on place no matter what's going on around them. And as you can see, Brutus is starting to get really comfortable on place. He's laying down, he's starting to doze off even sometimes on place. So that means we've done a good job this week of those three D words. So just to show you guys, distance wise, I can walk all the way away from him. I'll pick you guys up and take me with you. I've measured it before, and this corner of the room is about 70 feet away from him. So we can get really far away distance-wise. Distractions. We've been getting really creative with distractions. We're throwing stuff around. We're dropping stuff. We're um, moving around him a whole bunch. All kinds of stuff. We're getting really creative with distractions with him. We're starting to use other dogs for a distraction. Good boy. I'm gonna come in and reward him for a job well done. He stayed on place while I did all that silly stuff. Good boy. So again, we're starting to turn that stuff up. And then duration, we've turned up. He's starting to hit double digits, so we're just barely breaking that. 10, 11 minute barrier, but that's just gonna keep getting longer and longer, right? So, like I said, this, so far what I've shown you is no different than what I showed you last week, other than that, we kept turning stuff up a little bit every day. Last week, I couldn't throw toys on the ground. I couldn't walk a dog past him, but we just kept every day getting a little bit better and a little bit better. And so now we can do all that stuff. Again, when we're done and we're ready for him to take a break, we're gonna reward first. So I'm giving him some love right now. And then we're gonna release him, free and free means he's done. So now what's the new stuff I want you guys working on, right? So again, we've worked on these three D words. We're getting better and better at that. That stuff doesn't go away. Keep working on that stuff. So now the new stuff we're working on is I want to get away from having to use my leash all the time, right? So far we've been practicing with the leash. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my leash, okay? So leash is off of him. I'm going to walk up. Brutus, place. Good boy. And I'm just going to do a couple of those to get him used to the fact that I'm not holding onto the leash anymore. Free. Yeah, you're free. Good boy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Brutus. Place. Good. Very nice. Good boy. And since I could see that he could handle it with me not holding onto the leash, I'm going to go ahead and try to go off leash all the way. Good boy. Free. Brutus. Place. Yes, nice job. Good. Free. Yeah, you're free. So we do got to work on making sure he totally understands free. Now, some dogs, Brutus, place. Some dogs don't hop off when you tell them free because they're like, well, why would I? I love this place command, right? So don't get too hung up on that if your dog's being like Brutus, where when you say F-R-E-E, -E, they stay on the bed. That's not a bad thing. Remember, we're trying to get him to understand that F-R-E-E -E means you are able to do what you want. So if he says, well, I'd rather hang out on the bed right now, that's okay, all right? So again, first new challenge this week is to start working on getting away from having to use that leash so much, okay? Because again, you're not always gonna have a leash on your dog when somebody knocks on the door or something like that. Second new challenge I want you guys to work on is to start generalizing the object you're practicing on. So don't just work on the same bed all the time. So I'm gonna introduce right now, I'm gonna use this old card table. Still raised up, still pretty obvious. Oh, this is a mistake. Uh uh. So I correct him. I told him, uh uh. He hopped off. Now, I couldn't see behind me. You guys could, had a better view than I did. So I don't know if he got startled when I moved that card table or if he just got distracted. So I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I'll go back and watch what happened later. But I just correct him, get him back on place because I had not said free yet, right? Now I'm going to reward him. Good boy. Free. And I'm going to try to get him on this place. So I'm going to lure him on, kind of like we did last week. He's a little weirded out about it. Oh my, you're more weirded out about it than I expected. So he's kind of going back to that one. That's like his safety blanket, right? Ready? 
we might have to go back to using the leash. I don't know. You guys get to, that's the thing about this video series is I wanted it to be real life. I have not practiced any of this stuff without showing you guys what it looked like for the first time. Ready, Brutus? You're free. Let's try getting on this one. Sometimes I got to drop the treats on there. Oh, that was easier for you, huh? You were just kind of playing me, weren't you? Ready? It's a little slippery, huh? Maybe you don't like slick surfaces. <laughs> you can see he's stretching his back legs. He doesn't want to get all four feet on there. Ready, Brutus? So this is a good example in confidence building, right? This video is supposed to be all about place. This is the same way I handle stuff when dogs are nervous. If he's nervous, I'm not going to coddle him and baby him. I'm going to try to keep helping him to move forward because this is something that could pop up later where uh, you're walking down the sidewalk and they're doing construction. Have you ever seen where they tear up the sidewalk and then they put a piece of a big thick piece of steel over the top of it or something? I've seen dogs that wouldn't walk down the sidewalk and owners had to carry their dog right there. Good boy. So I don't force him, but I reward him as soon as he makes the right choices, right? Good boy. Oh, and of course, it made a little popping noise there. That's not going to help us, but that's okay. He's quick to overcome it. Good boy, Brutus. Free. Good. Let's try again now. Ready? Brutus. Place. Yes, good boy. Once I've got him hopping on there, I'm going to try to test him a little bit. Work on our same 3Ds. He's sniffing around. Uh-uh. Brutus. Ready? There you go. Good. Good boy. And like I said, this is totally unexpected for me. Brutus has been really confident about a lot of things. So for him to be a little bit weirded out about a, a card table totally came as a bit of a surprise to me here. But we're going to work through it, huh, buddy? I'll bet you in our next video, I'll be able to show you him just hopping on there readily. So again, that's your next challenge right now is to start working on different objects, whether it takes a couple minutes like it is for him to get comfortable with that object, or if he just hops on second nature, like, oh, this is just another new place. No big deal. I've been doing lots of place stuff, right? So again, make sure that you're doing whatever the dog requires of you. You're not just having these expectations that everything is going to be automatic for the dog, right? So again, new challenges this week, starting to work on not needing that leash in your hands and also starting to work on new objects. And once we get them on a new object, then we start working on those same three D words that we've been working on in the past. But free. All right, guys, work on that stuff this next couple of days. And we're going to come back at you with part three here in just a few days. Okay, guys, sorry. I know I said that was the end, but just wanted to show you another quick little 20 or 30 seconds of training here. It took me about three or four minutes to get him comfortable with that card table. So again, if your dog's afraid of something, don't just avoid it. Help your dog work through it. Don't force them through it, but at the same time, don't over coddle them because then your dog's going to think that the more afraid they act, the more affection and coddling and stuff like that you're going to do with them, right? So now he's looking pretty good. Place. Good boy. Hopping on there with all four paws, understanding that this means the same thing that that meant, and we're good to go. So again, he's doing much better with that, and it only took me a couple more minutes of getting him warmed up with it. Free. So now we're going to move on to blankets and towels and all that good stuff too. Thanks for watching.